Hello everyone! I've decided to actually record the rest of this build seeing as uh, I was taking pictures and I was gonna do somewhat of a, a time-lapse but I decided to rather than give you guys a full time-lapse which can be kinda boring I decided I'd interject and actually talk to you guys while I'm finishing this building uh, Obviously, if you clicked on the link, you want to hear what I have to say, and this is actually the largest building I've had the opportunity to build, and I'm really enjoying it, although it is taking a tremendous amount of time. I've, I'm on like two hours now, which is a really long time for really any Minecraft structure, because you're staring at blocks the entire time, and it's just something, uh, oh. something that I didn't want to happen right there. Uh, as you can see, I've already had this happen once before. I'm probably going to just cover this. So, you know, the other day, I had my, my motorcycle license plate stolen. And I'm friends with everyone in the neighborhood. No one has any type of disdain towards me. And I wake up, I go outside, and my motorcycle's license plate is missing. Now what kind of evil person do you have to be to steal some well-mannered kid's license plate for no apparent reason? And I'm sure I'm going to get some type of rude comment on that, but I really would like the comment anyways. Because worst comes to worst, I could just remove it. Um, this whole platform here, I had to do by, uh, by hand. Uh, I have been using the give command to get the resources, otherwise this would take a tremendous effort as far as resources go, and that's just something I really don't have time for, unlike the people who had time to steal my license plate. Okay, but I, I'm not going to ramble on and on about that, but it, here's an idea. If you guys ever wanted to steal a license plate, why don't you go ahead and post a comment? And let me know why. And if you've never stolen one, why? what would be enough reason to steal one? Even if it's just because somebody pissed you off or their dog pisses in your yard, just uh, <laughs> go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know what you think of that, about that. Now, I do need to expand this out a little bit more because I'm planning on expanding this another two bays. Yes, I am placing my wooden logs of fury into the world. I don't know why, but I am. But it needs to come back out. But I need to get more. But I don't know what to do. The choices. There's so many. Okay, there's one. I'm going to expand it. Two more bays. One, two, three. Fourth one is going to go right here. Ding! And then these go way up. It gets really high once you uh, <laughs> once you start to get up there. Ooh. It's just nutty. I can't believe how high this structure is. Now it's not like uh, what do you call it? It's not a cityscape. I mean, so it's not that high, but just for a simple house. This is very, very large for me. I've never built anything this large. Of course, this is very entertaining. It's, there's a whole new thought process required to building something that looks really good in a really large scale. It's, it's very intriguing. Because I'm even trying to get this platform to look a little bit more natural, not just... Oh, look, it's a big square of grass. I want it to have some more detail than that. So I'm just kind of cruising along. And I'm adding in little pieces by pieces here and removing pieces there. It's pretty nice. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do some more building, and then I'll fill you guys in some more when I think of some more stuff to say. So I'll see you in a little bit. Hello, everyone. I finished my build. 
it's marvelous. Oh, I just got whacked in the face by a cat. Um, it came out really nice. I even finished the the hill that it's supposed to be on. I did all this this whole hill by hand. It's a very large structure. There's my little redstone practice area. <laughs> um, it's very very gorgeous. I really enjoyed building it. And it it looks astounding in game from all over the map. Um, I'm gonna go up and give you guys a little tour, and we'll see where we go from there. But the first thing I want to show you guys is the roof. Um, I'm really proud of the roof. It's very very intricate. It was not easy to do, and it definitely took the most time out of the entire build. Here's the roof. <laughs> As you can see, every piece goes up a level and then goes back down. And then even on the other side, it's symmetrical. And it was just so confusing to make that symmetrical when I started. Especially because of these, uh, these two blocks here that are the same height. There's actually a little nick, or notch, I should say, <laughs> um, in the roof. That gives it a lot of extra flair. And that's what that is. But that's the roof. I'm going to go down here and show you guys the rest, seeing as no one really cares about the roof. <laughs> so we walk in. We've got chandeliers, uh, lots of lighting, very open windows, some really nice glowstone effects over there. Um, all the yellow that you see, these things are glowstone in this texture pack. And I'm using the Doku Craft High, which I will post a link to. But it's all made out of log with wooden walls, and all the log is obviously support. And I even I think this building would be able to stand in real life, due to the way I built it. Uh, all my beams are in the right places. It's just a really gorgeous building to to just walk into. It's overwhelming at first. It's very nice, but it, I don't think it overdoes it. I think it's just right. Um, I don't really know what this is for yet. I might continue to expand it out into the mountain, but I'm not sure. Uh, I have a little Minecraft guy <laughs> with a silver helmet. Oh, cat attacking the microphone. Stop it, cat. Um, <laughs> I got this little Minecraft guy. He's just, like, chilling there in glowstone eyes. I've got more windows underneath to let you see out into the back. Let's see if there's any creepers out there coming to get you. A nice little crafting nook and uh, I have a basement that I'm going to be converting pretty soon into a, a redstone oriented crazy chamber so this is the basement again uh, all this stone was placed as well as the the wooden shelving and the wooden supports please stop biting my mouse hang on one sec okay good to go um, yeah, so that's my, my wonderful abode. Uh, if you guys would like me to post more build videos, feel free to comment on it. I've had a lot of compliments on this house, and it was my, my first large build. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.